Hello everyone and welcome back! Before going any further with the development of our application, we are going to take the time to introduce a new development tool that is extremely useful. We are going to introduce in this lesson NGRX Store Freeze. This is a tool that is going to ensure that we write our reducers correctly during the development phase. To better understand NGRX Store Freeze, let's talk about the problem that it's solving first. So let's go over here our authentication reducer function. This function, a reducer function, needs to be written in a certain way, following a certain set of rules. The reducer function needs to be a pure function that takes as input the state and also the action that was just dispatched and outputs the new state. But it's very important that this function does not mutate the initial state. So, for example, instead of writing the logout action reducer logic by returning a new object, which is the correct way, we could instead be tempted to do the following. We could be tempted to take the initial state that we are getting here and that we would fill in the properties directly by mutating the original state. We would set the logged in flag to false and we would go ahead and set the user to undefined. Now, we would have to return here something, we could return again the original state that we have just mutated. And if we would execute the application as it is right now, the problem is that we would not see any difference in behavior. But some subtle problems would occur from this that would be very hard to debug later on. A couple of problems that an implementation like this would cause. First of all, if we would be using on push change detection in our application, this could already cause a problem because on push is detecting the presence of new objects. Only then will it update the component if it received a new object. Now, if we would be passing this object here, the authentication state, directly to some component in our application that would be using on push, this component would not reflect here the new state change. So that's one of the reasons why it's important to keep reducers pure. Another reason is that if we don't follow that rule, we are going to break the development tools. The development tools that we have been using so far are keeping the multiple snapshots of state so that we can advance and go back on the timeline of the actions dispatched. So if we do this, if we mutate directly the state, we are going to break the dev tools. So these are two very good reasons for avoiding any mutation inside our reducer functions. In order to make sure that we don't fall into this situation, we are going to be introducing a new tool a development tool that is going to make sure that we always write our reducers correctly. This tool is NGRX Store Freeze. This is a tool that we are going to be using only in development mode that is going to do the following. After the action gets dispatched and processed by the store, NGRX Store Freeze is going to go ahead and freeze the store state. It's going to make the store state an immutable object. This means that when the state gets passed to the application, we won't be able to mutate the state object, therefore preventing the multiple problems that we have mentioned before. Also, this will prevent this error situation here from occurring. Because the state inside the store is an immutable object, we won't be able to do this during development. We will immediately get an error. Let's then go ahead and see NGRX Store Freeze in action. At this point in the course, you already have NGRX Store Freeze installed, as you can see in your package.json. In order to enable it in our application, we need to configure it here in our reducers configuration. Do you remember this meta reducers property that we saw earlier in the course? Well, this is going to be used to configure NGRX store freeze. We simply have to drop it here, the store freeze meta reducer, and notice that we are checking here the production flag, so this meta reducer will only be present in development mode and not in production. If you are curious to know what a meta reducer is, a meta reducer, like the name implies, is a special type of a reducer function. 
this reducer is going to be applied after all our application reducers have been executed. So our application reducers are going to be executed to produce a new application state. For example, the authentication reducer is going to produce a new authentication state, etc. When we have our final application state, then we are going to run it through another set of reducers, the meta reducers, before handing out the state to the application. The meta reducers follow the same convention that we see here. They take state, they take an action, and they produce new state. NGRX store freeze is a meta reducer that takes the application state and recursively freezes all properties of each JavaScript object by making them read only. NGRX store freeze also prevents us from adding new properties to the state object, so effectively it makes the state object immutable. Let's see it in action then. Let's switch over to an application where we have already logged in. And let's now go ahead and see what happens if we click logout. So this is going to trigger our new reducer, but if we try to log out now, we get an error. The error is a bit generic. It says cannot assign a property of a given object, so it could not modify a read-only object. And if we click here on the second line, we are going to see where exactly in our reducers the error is being caused. So what is happening here is that the logged in property is a read-only property, so we cannot assign it new values. So we can see that NGRX store freeze is helping us to prevent this problem. If we switch over to our application and we go ahead and we revert this to the previous version where we were creating here a new object, before returning it from the authentication reducer, then the problem would be automatically solved. Let's reload the application to confirm this. Let's now log in to our application and now we are going to click log out. So as you can see, we no longer get here an error in the console and everything is working just like before. But with the added advantage that now we are absolutely sure that we will not write our reducers wrongly. We are also 100% sure that our components will not directly mutate the state inside the store which would break the store architecture. NGRX store freeze really helps us a lot to make sure that we are getting the store architecture right, so I recommend that you use it in your application from the very beginning. Let's now have a look at another auxiliary module that is really going to take the time-traveling capability of our development tools to the next level. 